Hi friends. Today we are going to discuss about two concepts that is master formula record as well as batch formula record. Normally these two terms we are coming across in the industry as well as when we study about the pilot plan concepts. So let us see what is master formula record. So we can tell it is a master document for any pharmaceutical product. Normally, the MFR contains all the information about the manufacturing process for a product. This MFR is prepared by the R&D team of the company and other documents that we are maintaining in the industry are batch manufacturing record and batch processing record. So, these two are prepared using the master formula record by the manufacturing so let us see what are the contents of a master formula record. So it starts with the name of the product, its strength and dosage form description, followed by the measure or weight of each active ingredient, then followed by the statement of the total weight, component name, and they have to state about the theoretical yield with minimum and maximum percentage. So then only the next investigator will get a clear idea. Then they should enter the description of the contained row closures or the packing material that can be used for the product packing. Then if possible, normally they are keeping a specimen or copy of the each label or labeling material with the date and signature approved and all the instructions in the so. So after that they have to write the procedure for sampling and testing, starting with the specification of the raw material intermediate and finished product what are the instructions for the storage of the intermediate as well as finished product if any special precautions are there they have to be noted that. so we can tell that this mfr is a document specifying the details starting from the starting material including the quantity packaging material procedure and precaution so we can tell that master formula record can be called in other way as master production record also. So as I already told, it is prepared by the R&D team and it contains information about the product as well as the batch size. And this will be prepared by the competent technical staff. Normally, head of the production and quality control is preparing this MFR document. So, based on the experience of the qualified staff or the chemists, they are preparing the batch manufacturing record based on the batch size. Let us see what are the parts. So, it starts with the product detail. Normally, we can see the name, logo, dosage form name, product kit code as well as labor claim followed by the product description like batch size, pack size and packaging style, shelf life and storage. Then they also include the manufacturer master formula record number and date for the cross verification. They also include the authorized person sign as well as the equipment and machine required in the so we can tell that the production department preparing this MFR. So it is divided into two sections, manufacturing section and packaging section. So first page of the both the sections should contain at least the name, address, log of the company, dosage form, brand name and generic means, means the initial details. Secondary page they have to write about the process, equipment used method stepwise instruction like any check of the material sequence temperature humidity and it also includes the reconciliation of the printed and unprinted material any excess of the rejected printed also is the you they have to make this so this is a uh, best example how the mfr or batch manufacturing record first the product name that says batch number followed by the batch match manager number MFR number, batch quantity, theoretical yield, then the composition, manufacturing date, expiry date, who is issuing the document, expiry date, reason, manufacturer license number, followed by shelf life, storage, who is marketing, then 
if it is a tablet here we have shown a tablet so when the granulation started compression coating when it is completed what is the area used all the details should be there who checked by the sign pharmacist sign should be there finally who is approving with the date is there so this is the format how useful for you if you find useful please share to your friends thank you